OK, this experiment is showing wireless energy transmission using a plasma globe. It's a 12 volt globe running from a wall outlet. And I'm using a piece of tin foil as my transmitter and that's just resting up against the glass. And that's transmitting energy 1.3 metres across to an aluminium baking tray. Now I've got a lead coming from the, from the tray and that's going to a bridge rectifier. And there's another lead coming from my kitchen sink to the bridge. And there's another lead coming from the baking tray and that goes through a coil and into a cap. Now this cap's not being charged, I'm just using it for the capacitance and it's out of an old television set and there's three caps in the one package. There's a 200 and 225 microfarad caps but they're all, they're all separate but in one package. Now that's my LED and that's lit. And that's from 1.3 metres away. Now, the amp drawer is in microamps and it's uh, 14 or 15 microamps. Now, if I put my hand on the baking tray, the LED increases in brightness and that's because I've now become part of the aerial, so it's gathering more energy. So the amount of energy which can be gathered is dependent on the size of the aerial. So that's off, on. Now, if I had another circuit, it's the same as the first. And I connect this to the second cap, which is the 25 microfarad. So there's no physical connection between these caps, but it's just in the one package. And the LED is increased in brightness again. Now the amp drawer of the new circuit is 190 microamps. And the first circuit now has gone up to 216 from about 14, whatever it was. Now, if I put my hand on the new baking tray, the amp drawer goes up, it's on now. So it's gone up to 300, 400 microamps. And look how bright the LED is. It's off, on, off. Now, the first circuit, when I put my hand on the, on the new circuit, on the baking tray, it's on, off, on. So that increases in uh, amp drawer as well. That's all I have for now. Uh, one other thing, there's no physical connection between these two baking trays. I've checked with an ohms meter. Now there may be a uh, some form of capacitive coupling in this cap going on, but I'm not sure. But that's the LED as well from the uh, the second circuit. I forgot to show you that. It's nice and bright. Thanks for watching. That's all I have for now.